Hello everyone, there is one, two, three, four. Four days left to um, apply for the Australia Award Scholarship, which is a fully funded um, Australian government scholarship for postgraduate study. So this is iCourage. iCourage um, International Education Consultancy is a fully registered um, education um, consultancy in Australia and we support students from undergraduate through to PhD. Um, we make sure um, you have um, documents that are really, really um, strong to um, get a scholarship, especially for a research program like Master, Master of Research and Field or um, PhD. So please contact us at info at icourageeduconsult.com. In this episode, I'm just going to tell you briefly about the Australia Awards, which is closing soon on the 30th of April. Is it a Wednesday? I think next Wednesday. So please run and contact iCourage if you are interested um, in this um, scholarship. So basically, um, it's a fully funded scholarship by the Australian government. And um, you basically um, will need to study for f um, two years in Australia. But some m many people contact me and ask, what are the terms and conditions? Actually, it's a line going rate, but I'm just going to tell you briefly one of the key things. You're going to sign a contract with the Australian government. And what this means is that after two years of your study, you are returning home. Unfortunately, you can't stay in Australia after your study. You need to return home because um, the scholarship is given to, to you to learn, gain skills and knowledge and experience, go back home and help develop the area of expertise um, in your home country. And so you're getting mastery over something and then you're going home to support, um, develop the country. That's why you're giving this scholarship. So please remember, one of the key conditions is you need to return home. But the good thing is when you return home, you stay there for um, two years. So you can go back home for a minimum of two years until you decide on coming back to Australia. So what that means is that even if you go back home, you can stay there for a minimum of two years and decide if you want to return to Australia. After two years, you don't have any business to do with the Australian government anymore. You can um, return to Australia if you want to. So that is a very cool condition, right? Personally, to me, I think that um, when you come here, you are provided with everything from accommodation to living expenses, to flight tickets, to tuition fee you don't pay. And you are given a little bit of stipends. Like I said, the living expenses. And you're also paid for the um, health insurance. So that will be paid for by the scholarship. And so you don't necessarily need to pay anything. But if you're intending to work, I think now international students can work 28 hours a fortnight. It was 20 hours. It went to full time. Now back to 28 hours a fortnight. So if you decide to work, which you're allowed to as an international student, but a limited 48, um, 28 hours a fortnight. It means that whatever money that you get from that little part-time job while you're studying comes into your pocket. That's right. It goes directly into your pocket. So you're not going to use that money on anything, on your tuition fee or on your living expenses because you'll be paid while you're studying. So that money you get from that part-time job as an international student, you are pocketing it. So by the time you finish your two years study in Australia, you must have saved a little bit of thousands of dollars, if not ten thousands of dollars. And so when you go back home, you're not going broke. You're going a little bit rich um, with some thousands and ten thousands of Australian dollars. You're going home with knowledge, experience, and mastery of the area of study and you're going to help develop the country then you live in your country for four years and then you can come back to australia if you so wish so that is the condition of the scholarship now what else should i tell you basically four days left it is the australian eastern standard time 30th of april at 11 59 p.m Remember, a lot of African countries, I think all African countries are behind Australian time, 10 to 15 hours behind. I know my, my country, for instance, is behind Australian time, 12 hours. So anytime I'm going to call home, I need to calculate, okay, 
it's what time today um it's around 5 p.m so that will be 5 p.m on friday that will be uh 7 7 a.m in the morning or 9 a.m in the morning and so if you're back home and you're thinking of submitting your application on the 30th at 9 a.m in the morning um think twice because that morning will be night time or evening time in australia and you will be late so please take note of the time difference 10 to 15 hours behind especially for all african countries so please if you are in kenya zimbabwe tanzania Singapore, um, south africa ghana nigeria cote d'ivoire which other country check online <laughs> i can't remember on top of my head but yeah there are a few other countries on the list so if you're in these countries and you're submitted on your own i encourage you to do that but please take note of the time and contact me if you are still interested to apply even though it's a little bit late but still i could use about one to two hours to you know squeezing your application i'm very fast at that and i'm a pro i've done few applications already so please if you are still interested in this scholarship just contact icoach um info at icoacheduconsult.com and we can submit your application just make sure you get you have these documents ready a copy of your passport it needs to be certified go to a court i don't know how it is done in your country but basically it's about affidavit go to a court get the um, documents um, certified like the original copy cited um, by a justice of peace or a court or a commission of oath and then make a copy of the other document so decide the original and see if the copy is the same as the original they will stamp it they will sign it and so do same for your passport your academic transcripts your certificate so those documents need to be certified and then after that you will need um reference letters from um your employer and then your academic um your academic so basically someone from your institution uh an administrator may not know your academic competence so i wouldn't recommend administrator i would rather recommend you um getting your direct supervisor at uni or maybe someone who taught you who lectured you at uni um to complete that form but if you contact icoach you're going to send you a copy of the reference report template so that they don't need to write they just need to complete those um reports and then you can send both the academic and professional or the employer report to us together with your passport academic transcripts your certificates and finally um english language proficiency you know some of these uh, most of these african countries our first language um, is not english english is our official language so there is a difference please apart from south africa all african countries are not considered english speaking even though our official language is english and english is the medium of instruction in all our institutions but i don't think it's all africans mm. I beg to differ, but let me be very, very, uh, let me be very guided by what I say. Maybe West Africans. No, even Togo, I don't think. Honestly, only Ghana and Nigeria. I know that um, um, the, the medium of instruction in, in school is English, but it does not mean that English is our native language. And so definitely when you apply for schools in um english-speaking countries they will still request for um, english test or proficiency test so mostly they recommend ielts or pte if you don't have that and maybe the time frame wouldn't allow you to write these tests maybe get a letter from your institution which is the proficiency letter um to say that you studied four years of your bachelor's and everything was in lang um, english language that work um in this application so please get that get your passport get your academic transcripts and certificates all certified and then um complete the reference reports which you can find online if you're doing it on your own if you want us to do it for you we send you all these documents so you can get them complete and send it back to us deadline 30th of april one two three four four <laughs> four more days to go please take note of that and um see if you will 
um, get this juicy scholarship. It's taking care of everything, insurance, health insurance, everything. I don't have to repeat myself. So um, contact iCoach at info at iCoachEduconsult.com if you want us to help you with the application. You don't pay the application fee. Honestly, the application fee is free. So when you submit, you don't pay anything. But if iCoach is doing it for you, you need to pay for a few service fee, a few charge, um, a small amount. I'm not mentioning it online. <laughs> when you contact us, we will discuss. But it's just a tiny amount of money, um, so that we can squeeze your application in and see, um, how you can also get this scholarship and study in Australia. We need more Africans here, you know. Australia is very far, and so when you see, um, an African or black person, um, in 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 school, it's really cool. And I am talking from personal experience as a fully funded PhD student, and so. If you are not even interested in this and you are interested in research and you want to do a PhD, you want to do a master's of research or master's by research or master of philosophy, contact iCoach. I'm going to use my personal experience as a fully funded PhD student and um, and my professional experience as an education consultant um, to guide you through the applications to make sure you submit a very strong application. My personal experience going through the application process myself, what I was advised, the tips and tricks of some of the experiences that I personally had in my own personal experience, I'm going to share with you so that your application is stronger in your uh, master's um, by research or PhD application so that you can also secure yourself a fully funded scholarship like I'm joined right now. And hopefully I'll be submitting my thesis next year and better um, the doctor title. It's so exciting. I just want to, um, to support, um, my kind um and anyone who is interested um to do a phd to do a master's by research in a research program or if you want to do a coursework undergraduate postgraduate i coach is here for you so please contact us info at icoacheduconsult.com and we will be at your doorstep four more days to go all right, so keep that in mind. Four more days to go to close um, the Australia Awards Scholarship. But hopefully I'll be here again to tell you more about some scholarship gossip. Just use me as your scholarship gossip. But make sure you can get all this information when you have subscribed to my channel. So please subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone. So there is no competition, okay? So it doesn't matter how many people have applied for this Australia Awards. As long as you are able to um, convince the scholarship team, even if everyone's application is satisfactory, everyone is going. I don't think they have a quota um, on the website. They haven't specified how many people they need. So I assume if everyone is eligible, everyone qualifies, you would all go. So there is no competition. So please don't see this video and just watch it alone. Don't be selfish. Please share this beautiful news, spread the news, um, share this link with anyone who may be interested. Or if you're interested in applying next year, this is an annual thing. So if you're interested in applying next year, yeah, we can start sorting out your application or the documents you required. And I have the list of all the written statements, the questions that you'll be asked in the application process. So you can start working on it until next year, then you can apply. But remember, this is the first stage of the application, the, applica um, the, the scholarship selection. So first is the application, second is um, a selection process and you'll be shortlisted for an interview. So you go for an interview and then afterwards, the scholarship team will take you through each process at no fee. You're not paying anything. The application, you're not paying anything. You're only paying me, I coach, for submitting the application for you. That's all. But you're not paying anything in the scholarship. Please, please take note of that. You're not paying anything in the scholarship. You just pay me for the services of, you know, using the internet, using my time, submitting the application for you, refining your rating statements. Those are the services that you'll pay for, but not the application. So please take note of that. And I'll catch you same time. I may not come again until after the deadlines because I know I'm going to be very busy. But after 30th of April, I'll come and then we will talk. We will talk about other things. But until then, this is iCoach. You can contact us at 
mm, info at icoacheduconsult.com you can check our website icoach international education agency to see the services that we do there or here pretty well until then take care and stay safe